So, many of you are probably aware that the Dow Jones Industrial Average has soared over 14,000 points this week. Now, if you think that that means that we are in an economic recovery, you're probably one of those silly people who thinks that Governor Chris Christie is immensely popular because of his brilliant activity in the wake of Superstorm Sandy. Now, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what he did. I mean, he had his picture taken with Barack Obama, but then what? Now the Congress, three months after the fact, has authorized $50 billion or so, but where's the plan? Where's the crash program? Where are the storm surge barriers? How come there's not a mobilization to put thousands of young people to work building the infrastructure that would protect our shores in the event of another hurricane, which there's good reason to believe will occur. What's actually going on in the world is that we are facing a total meltdown of the transatlantic financial system. Just look at Europe. It's not just the banks of Italy, Monte de Pasci, and Deutsche Bank in Germany. Banco Santander. It's a mess. You have criminal fraud investigations. It's sort of like if you ever stumbled over a rotten carcass in the woods and you look underneath and all these creepy crawly things are scurrying under the rot. That's the state of the European banking system. Look at Greece. Greece has a 26.7% unemployment rate and unemployment among the youth is over 57%. Do you think that's the model? that we should be going by. And then on top of that, we are facing thermonuclear war. Just like President Barack Obama, Israeli Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu is apparently a tool of Tony Blair and the British Empire. No sooner does Tony Blair meet with him than you have Israel bombing Syria. You have our Vice President over at the Munich security meeting provoking Russia, demanding the end of the Assad regime in Syria. And really, the United States policy at this point should be to work with Russia. Russia would be a much better ally than Great Britain. After all, Russia wants to shut down the international drug trade, which is fun funding terrorist activity, whereas Tony Blair and Obama seem to be mostly interested in supporting Al Qaeda. So as I've said before, the state of New Jersey has a crucial role to play in organizing recovery for the United States of America. But in order for this to occur, President Barack Obama has to be impeached. The Glass-Steagall Act, which Christie opposes, has to be reinstated. If New Jersey is to do what it's capable of in terms of gearing up our old machine tool capability, the railroads, we should be a major transshipment corridor for goods from Long Island and Connecticut going out to the Midwest. We should be building the storm surge barriers. None of this is of any interest to Governor Christie, who's mostly interested in saving gambling casinos. And just because a 28-year-old billionaire who knows nothing about politics decided to hold a fundraiser for Governor Christie doesn't mean that Christie is qualified to hold high office. In fact, if Bernanke keeps up with these $125 billion of bailouts every month, a billion dollars isn't going to be worth that much anyway. Any person who does not recognize that President Obama's continued occupation of the White House is a threat to the survival of the human race and that he must be impeached is not qualified to hold high office.